This is Real Life with Deb Waterbury, a real show for real people with real issues. And now, here's your host, Dr. Deb Waterbury. Hello there. Welcome to this special episode of Real Life with Deb Waterbury. As we are been in our Christmas uh, season, a lot of these Christmas specials that we're doing on the show, I thought it'd be really fun to take a break uh, this week and do some crafting, which is funny since I am the antithesis of a crafting <laughs> soul, which my friend Chev Johnson, this is his Chevin here. Chevin is an artist. She's, a, she's great at this crafts as well. And I'm going to let her give you that background why she does these every year with her nieces and nephews. Um, this is why I thought about her. But, but Chevin has a, um, she's a graphic designer. She's an artist. I have most a lot of her art all around my house. Her, the link to her website will be right below this. So you'll be able to get in touch with her to either write her a note about some of these or, you know, order some of her stuff. She does mostly Christian art and stuff. It's beautiful. Uh, just my little plug for Chev. Um, but Chevin Johnson. So Chevin, we're going to do a really, I'm going to be doing a very simple craft, right? Yes. These are all kid friendly because I'm like dealing with a three-year-old. So everything that I'll be doing, a child <laughs> could do. Then she has, because you do this every year with your nieces and nephews right but around Thanksgiving. they've gotten Thanksgiving. older. Yes. yes. Right. So, so they're a little more, more complicated. Yes. So Chevin got out the ones when they were in preschool that that's what I'll be doing <laughs> but then she's got some more advanced ones so tell people kind of what some of these things that you and your nieces and nephews have done for Christmas okay well these are a little further in the age because you should well some of those might have been thrown away some of the early on <laughs> little uh, renditions of some of these things but so my family is very artistic and there's seven nieces and nephews and one of them never participates because he hates crafts but he um, and I are somehow linked in yes, personality. That's right. <laughs> so um, I will usually come up with you know some I, some idea. I do one, or I take a picture of an idea, and then I bring. I mean, the whole room is covered with options. So um, they come up with really creative ideas, and um, like this little guy. This is um, it's made out of just a foam piece of fruit, and so you know the kids had a blast making all sorts of fun things with that and that's super easy and um, but then these are a little more you gotta you know glue gun or just depends on how long how how many details you want to involve mm -hmm. or include in your piece and you can get most of this stuff like just at because those are yeah. pine cones right yep and so and then it's pine cones and felt and a glue gun and some of the little yeah. things that you put you on get there. little he, uh, you know, just the little, little things at, things. at um, mm -hmm. like Michael's Hobby Lobby. Or, Hobby or, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're real cheap and stuff. And then this is a dry globe. Now, what do you do? You just buy that? I mean, yep. what do you, just buy like uh -huh. a. And it actually screws off, and then you make your little whatever you want to put on it. Mm -hmm. um, you pull that out, so you're working on that base, and then you have to make sure it's going to fit in there when you right, when right. you have it all done so and then you just put and then you put snow in there yep oh, you just so turn cool. it upside down and it's it's called like a dry globe i think i bought a bunch of these at christmas at uh, michael's for, that's really cool and so there mm -hmm. were all cool lots of neat and what i always love that. about what you do with your um i love this little cute guy right here he's just a clothespin right yep so what i always love is that you have taken like stuff that you just can find either really cheap at the craft store or that you may even just have laying around the house yep. like this dude right here is those are wine corks um, so, you know, some of us just have those sometimes, especially this time of year, you yeah. get around, so you, and you may have a cute little deer with it. But what I and love is- he has is, a wine cork hat. Oh, that's, oh, it is. Mm -hmm. And you just covered it in felt. Yep. See, I just think it's really neat- Popsicle sticks. That this is, oh, yeah, this is his little movable arms mm -hmm. are popsicle sticks. So these are really cute things. You know, a lot of, believe it or not, when my kids were young, I did used to do crafts with them, but they were, you know, really simple crafts where you just didn't have to do all these things because I wouldn't have known how to do it. Right. But now in the age of internet and right. Pinterest, you can find out how to do stuff. But you know, if anybody, I've heard so many moms talk about stuff like this, that they'll go on Pinterest and they see something that's really cool and it is so blooming complicated that they end up with a monster blob by the time they're finished. Right. Well, these ideas are so simple that even a person like me could do them. <laughs> <laughs> which is what we're gonna do right now. So I'm going to be making this cute little guy. This oh, is I also a very guy. simple one That's too. That's true because he's just a wine cork. Well, he's right? a wine cork with twigs well, and I made this well, out of Sculpey. Levi. Which is a, 
<laughs> Sculpey. Which, uh, yes, it's just a Play-Doh that you're, a dough that you buy for two bucks at Hobby Lobby, and you bake it for 15 minutes. Oh, and, and that's then how you paint you it. it. Oh, yeah. that's really cute. And then just glue gun and, and just um, like Actually, markers. he's got a, um, I have a, <laughs> it's just a toothpick. I'd oh. already made it with a little hole. So you're just. And I just. I could That's glue it, cute. but I wanted to show people how to That's do that. That's cute, and he's on a little base. Yep, I made a little Sculpey base out mm -hmm. of that, so he has I've a never snow... heard of Sculpey. Yeah, there's other kinds of, of uh, it's a uh, bakeable. Kind of like dough, Play-Doh, mm -hmm. bakeable. Yeah, and it doesn't dry, it's just, you can keep get it forever, okay. and then you bake. All right, so let's get to my craft. Yeah. Okay. My craft is Crafts. this cute little craft, this cute little <laughs> snow person. And what I love about this is that there's almost no ingredients. I know that's not what you call it, but what do you call my ingredients? Um, uh, well, the materials. Materials. So you can see how much <laughs> I do these. So there's not very many materials. This is like just one of those little candles, you know, those little light already tea battery, light. Tea, that's what it's called, a tea light candle. And she's made this little snow person. So I'm going to be doing this. Yes. Okay, so what are my what are my stuff here? What do I have? <laughs> okay, what, but first stuff? of all, let's get off of my microphone. Oh, I'm sorry, Thank okay. <laughs> <laughs> little ambitious mm -hmm. there. Okay, so what we do is we start off with our little tea light and, uh -huh. and and we don't turn on, don't pull out the little, usually they Yet. come with a battery. Right, right. Okay, so first what we'll do is I have a little exacto blade. Now you could do it however you want, but I find the kind of where I wanna do the top. So For we'll what, have a little you, nose being. Oh, to put this little thing yeah, in there? Yeah, uh -huh. it's, oh. it's a little eyelet so that you could hang it. If oh, you wanna I use see. it for, as now you don't have to. As like an ornament or something. It's like an ornament on mm -hmm. your tree, you can okay. do that. So I can mm -hmm. show you how to do that or we don't have to, but. Okay. I just put a little, my X-Acto blade, and I know this might be a little more advanced so that adults would have to yes, do Yes, you might want to put the hole in there before yeah. you give it to your yes. children or me. Yes, um, so I'm just, all I'm doing is poking a little hole mm -hmm. and just turning my blade, and And boom. then you just screw this in there? Yep, mm. so, and then, Okay. Huh. Oh, cool. Yeah, and boom. So this is so I am going to okay, do it eventually. Screw that in a little bit more. It. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I see. Then it goes all the yeah, way yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So now so this now, is what we have so far. Mm -hmm. Now get your orange sharpie, mm -hmm. and you're gonna carefully color, color the, your, nose? the nose. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. We can go from on the side. You could do that with other things. It's just nice because the sharpie is transparent. Right. So right. it'll show the light through. Right. So. I should have my glasses on because I can almost see what I'm doing. <laughs> this is, and I, what I love about this is that truly, I mean, anybody can do this. And I mean this, I'm not being falsely modest. <laughs> I, and Shevin's known me for over 20 years. She knows yes. that I am not crafty and that this is about the extent of it for me. Right. And I can do it. So here we are, I'm almost done. And he has a little orange nose. Boom, boom, boom. All right. All right. Okay. So what I would do next mm -hmm. is I would, you know, you can buy little Google eyes. You can buy packs of them for real cheap now. They're everywhere. Mm -hmm. So buy a bunch of different sizes. This is just, I grabbed, I have a box of, of tons of different sizes. But so these are the two that I picked. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's cute to have one big eye and one littler one. It's mm -hmm. kind of cute. But so what we're going to do is we're going to just glue gun those. So you already have so. the glue gun. One of the things that she had said, which was really interesting, was that she just used an old piece of laminate tile. Bless you, Alex. <laughs> a whole piece of laminate tile and uses that, you know, to put, she said you can cut on that or whatever, but that's where my glue gun has been heating yeah. up on. So and the glue gun's been cheap. heating up. You can get them, like, just get an ugly one. Yes. And it, <laughs> they're on sale ugly. and they're like 50 some cents or So you just Home glue Depot. gun the... the yeah, no. No? Uh, so what we're going to do is you're actually going to glue Onto, onto the, the piece thing. itself. Okay. So All let's right. move here so people can see. Okay. So you want to, you do one eye at a time. Okay. So we're going to put up there. They much? Yep. And then you're going to grab your little eye and you're going to put it on there. Now remember where your center is. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yeah. And let's hold, push it down a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Now and you're going to put the other one. Other one. Yeah, you don't want to do two at a time because oh. but we can pull that off. Yeah, yeah you one, but you I want to do it one at a time because it dry, it gets cool fast, especially oh, right. on this plastic. Right. And oh, look so you really want to already. do just one at a time, and then when you get the little hairs of you glue, you just pull those off after. 
Look how cute he is already. Okay, now, now right. you gotta add your coal smile. Okay. Maybe we've got a little coal smile. Do I just do that with a yep. Sharpie? Just the Sharpie. Let me oh, add. you wanna look, okay. I need to look so at. I did, uh, you know, There's five. five of them. So okay. put your one in the center. Okay. Now he's oh, just saying. Oh, that's cute, look. Oh no! <laughs> oh, Mr. Bill! Mr. Bill. <laughs> Help me! Only old people know who I'm talking about right there. Okay, so here we uh, go. Make a little more circular. Oh, one, yeah. look at you. See, it's, if, the, if I'm, you are being too bossy. All right, well, Maybe yeah. Maybe I didn't want a circular That's one. That's true. Okay, Sorry, so there I we go. Sorry, I was being dictator of craft. <laughs> so there we go. There's okay. my, there's my, my coal mouth. It okay. doesn't look great, but he's cute. He is very cute. Yes. It, you can't go wrong. Okay. So what we're going to do mm -hmm. is I want you to cut a piece of this here. Mm -hmm. I've got my scissors and you're just going to, you know, like somewhere around there. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead and do the curl. Okay. Okay. I know how to do a curl. That's right. All right. It is a small pair of scissors, mm -hmm. but it you is. can do whatever, you know, get a good tight curl. Is that tight enough? Uh, no. No? Okay. I mean, you can. We can go back through and I can. There. All right. Okay. Let's try. We'll start with that. Okay. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to put it behind the little, like, mm -hmm. go on there, the little uh, eyelet here. Mm -hmm. Let's get some of that glue off. What do you mean behind? What does that mean? Oh, uh, just around. Oh, I'm you're going gonna around You're going to just tie it. it around it. Yeah. Oh, I'm not going See? through it. Nope. Oh, okay. You can if you want, but okay. it's just all I did was just put a little. All the, like the whole thing? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like long all the way? Yeah, just, just that pull much? it. No, go ahead and do the whole thing because we can trim it. I see. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just tying like a little knot thing? Yep. Okay. So you might get one started. Easier said than done. Just get one started, get a knot started, oh, and I then see. do it. Oh, yeah. okay. Sometimes it's a pain because it's not very heavy. Doesn't yes. give you a good angle. Okay, that's smart. Well, in the meantime, talk to them a little bit about what you're oh. doing over there. What you, oh. what you what you could do. You don't have to make it, but tell them about what you could do with that little cute reindeer. Oh, okay. So the reindeer is just two corks, and I started using just the plastic cork. They're more rubber, I, which means that that's probably a cheaper wine, but maybe not. I don't know. I'm not a wine connoisseur but so um, all I did was I got some of these little hooks that you hang in the ceiling or wherever they're just I use those as antlers so I just drew two little dots and I turned them and and they'll just screw right in because it's it's a rubber little um, cork and then I had everybody has beads like this that have fallen off their tree mm -hmm. <laughs> or broken the little so and they're super cheap, so you can go to the dollar store and just take one apart. So all I did was just, the hole was perfectly set up, so I could just, I didn't even glue it. I just pulled it up in there. So that's how you make the little antlers. This is a little black tack. I have an upholstery tack, a little thicker, but it doesn't really matter. Push it in, and um, do you want me to come back to this? No, go ahead. I'm, oh, I'm okay. done with mine, I think. So, I, mine looks a little bit like Mickey Mouse. That's <laughs> cute. <It's> cute. <laughs> and that doesn't matter. You don't have to be have it perfect. No, he's it's whatever adorable. you want it to be. And so now I'm gonna pull the little thing out and yep. light him up, right? Yep. Light him up. Sound like the Top Gun. See, Boom. he's got his little lit nose. Yeah. This is so cute. Yeah, it's real quick. It is real cute. Yeah. And this is something, honestly, anybody could do this. And you don't even really have to think about it too much. And so yeah. cheap. Yeah. Because you can buy bags of these tea lights uh -huh. for almost next. All right, go finish with that oh. one. And then we'll talk more a little bit more about this one. Oh, okay. So all I, uh, it, it just involves nails. So you want me to try to put one up No, together? we don't have enough time to actually put one together. <laughs> just to just okay. tell them where it goes. <laughs> So here's a, all you do is you can give, here's a little piece of felt for his little um, scarf. scarf. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put a little nail through, a, a tall little thin nail through that, just get a hole going. And so basically and then, that's in between those two cords, yep. right? Mm -hmm. So I put it in here to connect the head to the body. Mm -hmm. And all I did was for the feet, I got some of these and I have a a nail that has a little bit of a head on it so that it'll hold the bead. Oh, I see. Oh, how cute yeah. is that? So I just put my little feet here. Here, I'm just going to poke it in. See how cute he is. It just goes in mm -hmm. there with his little ankle things. Yeah. Looks like he has on little de reindeer right. leg warmers. And I didn't even glue them or anything. I just, right? 
That's so cute. This is, I could even do this one too, yeah. I think. Yes, I think you I could. could do that one. And his little head moves. Yep, you can turn his head so he's looking around, you know. Oh, y'all, this is so cute. These are so good. And they're just like, these are good things that you can do with your kids mm -hmm. or, you know, even if you have like a little party you want to do them with people like me that don't do much stuff. Yep, um, it's just na pins or nails or look in your garage and find some stuff. You can buy little packets of nails. I love that this is like just little hooks. Because I yeah. look at it thinking you had to, you had. That my first thought was, oh, how did she bend those nails? But those are hooks. Yeah, they're just the little hooks you can buy at, and you just I think they're called hook hooks or something. Yeah, I got that those. is so cute. Okay, well, thank you, Shevin. Yes. I'm so excited about my little guy. Yay. Or girl. girl, I think it's yeah. a girl. Yeah, I think this she is might a girl. Be. She you could do blue for Yes, I think this is a girl. Well, thank you, honey. You're for welcome. Sharing. You have so many, and I know if we had longer, I'd want you to tell them how to do that, but Maybe next time. Here's well, thank a little you guys. Angel girl. Thank you. I know she's so cute too. And she's this all right cork. Here is cute too. She's made out of cork, and Look that's another her. little vegetable. She is so adorable. Okay. Well, thank all you, right. Chef. You're Merry welcome. Merry Christmas, you Merry guys. Merry Christmas. There will be a little um, where you can get in touch with Chevin. If you go to chevingallery.com, then you'll be able to get in touch with her that way. But you'll be able to see her art too. So thanks, Chef. Yay. Merry Christmas, Merry y'all. Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining me today on this episode of Real Life with Deb Waterbury. I hope it's been a blessing to you as much as it was to me. You know, if you want any of my books or information on articles or any of my speaking engagements, you can go to my website at debwaterbury.com. God bless you.